A week after Azimio leader Raila Odinga gave his stand on the National Dialogue Committee report, terming it as a good start and endorsing the report recommendations, his core principal Martha Karua now says she differs sharply with Azimio's stand on the NADCO report. <laughs> Karua says the report is a fraud and waste of taxpayers' money meant to benefit politicians. I want to say it has nothing to alleviate the suffering of citizens. But it offers goodies to the leadership. This is totally unacceptable. It is a fraud upon Kenyans. It should be frowned upon and totally rejected. Last week, Azimio leader Raila Odinga alleged that Karua, who was in Somalia then, was in agreement with Azimio's stand while denying an existence of opinion differences between the coalition leaders. Karua says she has a democratic right to differ with her boss, Raila Odinga. We will not debate over semantics. The stand of NAC Kenya total rejection. Sure. But we remain an integral part of Azimio, a democratic coalition where dissent. Dissenting doesn't mean disrespect. We differ with respect. Yes. According to Karua, the report fails the objective test of addressing the cost of living. The starting point would be reduce the fuel tax to where it was, eight, that would have a ripple effect. Scrap the housing tax, which is but a slash fund. Even we, before we go to food subsidies, this country, this is not the first time Kenyans have been faced with hardship, although it is the worst, because we have an uncaring regime. Karua wants a referendum undertaken in the event that the report sees the light of day insisting that the entrenchment of constituency development fund should be part of the referendum alongside the creation of the two offices recommended. The office of the Prime Cabinet Secretary or Prime Minister or leader of official opposition must be subjected to a referendum at, after full participation by Kenyans. Similarly, the issue of constituency development fund which the courts have already declared unconstitutional and ward fund, which offend the principle of separation of powers, must be subjected to a referendum. We shall be altering the structure of the constitution, the basic structure if you like. She alleges that Kenya Kwanzaa is using a backdoor tactics to push for the amendments. We know Ruto and the Kenya Kwanzaa regime are cunning, more cunning than a fox, I dare say. We must be on the lookout, otherwise they may carry out backdoor amendments of the constitution through parliament. The NAC Kenya principle wants the selection process of the IEBC commission has halted for 45 to 60 days and parliament should not be part of the process. Such an audit should not be a parliamentary process but by the two protagonists. It should be by the KK and Azimio, and it should not be a parliamentary process. She also wants the election audit dispensed before the new commissioners assume office. It is our considered view that the audit ought to precede the appointment of the commissioners. What comes first? For us, it's the audit. Martin Opio, K24 TV, Nairobi.